You may have seen this piggy bank before, inside, outside, or in the sky, often accompanied by this. If you haven't, you may be wondering what it means, so let me explain. You've probably heard a lot about Labour's tax rises. They would cost every working family £2,094. Here's why. The £2,094 tax rises over the next four years were set out in a document published online that looks at 27 of Labour's commitments. OK, so you're probably not going to read all that. But what you need to know is that all of these commitments were made by Rachel Reeves, Keir Starmer, the Shadow Cabinet, all have appeared in Labour Party documents since February last year. So let's have a look at them. Each commitment has an associated costing. For example, Labour themselves said decarbonising the power grid would cost £23.7 billion. Meanwhile, their carried interest plan was estimated by Treasury officials to cost just over £3 billion. You can find that on the gov.uk website. Breaking down all those 27 commitments, 21 are official costings signed off by the Treasury. Two are from official government data releases. One is from a reported costing in the Financial Times. Two are using Labour's own numbers. And one is from an independent third party, Stiffel. So the £2,094 figure is overwhelmingly based on official costings signed off by the Treasury. Taken together, the commitments add up to £58.9 billion of additional spending. There are also estimates of the money Labour claimed they would raise. Once you subtract those from their spending commitments, that leaves a funding gap of £38.5 billion over the next four years. So how will Labour afford all this? They'll need to raise taxes to plug the gap. If you take the money they need to raise and divide it by the number of working households in the UK, you reach £2,094 per household, to be precise. And in fact, it's worse than that. The £2,094 tax number does not even include the tax rises that Labour has already announced. You can see the numbers yourself. Just search Labour Tax Rises document now.